I don't know if this qualifies as good or bad news, but it's worth talking about. Miles Bridges' 10-game suspension is up. And for the first time in 583 days, he's going to be in the lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. Now, it seems the fans of the team are struggling with how to feel about this, given the off-court problems that he's had, and they are well-documented, and we've talked about them ad nauseum when relevant. Here's where I stand on it. Keeping Miles on the team and choosing to play Miles are uncomfortable necessities for the Hornets right now. He's an all-star caliber player in Charlotte. You got LeBron James before, you know, he stopped playing for Charlotte before uh, last season, talking about how he's one of the elite guys in the league. He's a dude. But here's the complete list. This is the part you need to realize if you're not a Hornet fan. Here's the complete list of Hornets All-Stars since the the name change from Bob Katz to Hornets. Like this is we're talking about close to 15 years of Hornets history now. Here's the complete list of NBA All-Stars. Kimba Walker and LaMelo Ball. That's the list. And Miles Bridges could be that type of good. So, Charlotte doesn't have the luxury as an organization to have that type of talent available to them and simply discard it. This is not, they are not the Lakers. They are not even the Miami Heat. They're not the Celtics. They can't just discard them. Those organizations, maybe they could. Would they? I don't know. Here's the grown up reality, though, where you're having a grown up conversation about this rather than trying to posture and do the social media thing where, hey, I'm going to get a bunch of likes and say, ah, oh, this is abhorrent that the Hornets are playing Miles Bridges. He's going to play for somebody. That's the reality. He's served a suspension. He's going to play for somebody. Why not you? What does taking a moral stand grant grant you? Oh, the fans should you got you owe it to your fans to not play Miles Bridges. Really? Huh. What fans? I mean, are these same fans? If, if the Charlotte Hornets cut a deal with those air quote fans that they're doing it for, would they do would, would the fans show up now? If the Hornets said, hey, we're going to cut Miles Bridges because you want us to. Social media says we should. Are you going to watch a 25-win basketball team now? Is that what you're going to do? Like, Miles gets the game because we saw it with Kobe in 2004, and we've seen it with several other examples in sports. If you start winning, people are going to forget. They are. They shouldn't. It's, again, having a grown-up conversation here. The Hornets are trying to run a business, and they're not the Lakers or the Celtics. He's going to play for somebody. Why not you? And this was Miles yesterday, I think, communicating what I'm trying to say decently. I mean, I know, I know a lot of people feel, feel a way about me being back, and I understand that, and I have to, like I said before, gain their trust back. So I'm just going out there, looking out there to play. I feel like if I, if I can get us some more wins, I feel like people's perspective will change a little bit on me. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get out there and, and help the team as much as I can, you know, and I miss, I miss playing against these fans. Yeah. 25-win team without Miles Bridges. Fans aren't showing up. You might lose some of those people, but I venture to say if the Hornets are decent with Miles in the lineup, you probably gain more people than you would have lost by keeping them. I'd say so. That's, that's the truth. If you want to say that's an indictment on the human experience, that's fine. An indictment on fans, sure, but that's the reality. And there are two scenarios of how this plays out for Charlotte, and they're positive. Either he makes Charlotte a playoff team, which he could. He is that good, remember? The last two years that he played in Charlotte, they were in play play-in teams, and he was the leading scorer on those teams. So that's one scenario. Or Charlotte is not a playoff team, and you can flip him at the deadline, get something in return for him, and since you're not making the playoffs, you're likely going to have a top 10 pick in the draft that doesn't go to the San Antonio Spurs. You'd likely have a top 10 pick, and you continue your rebuild, but you get something back in exchange for Miles. It is uncomfortable, sure, I'll give you all that, but it is a necessity that he plays and that he stays a Charlotte Hornet. 